In this video, I'm going to share 10 tips and tricks on how to edit easier and faster in Wondershare Filmora. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and on this channel, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. I'll be using Filmora 11 in this illustration, but most of these will work with the previous versions of Filmora. So let's get into the video. There are instances where your videos will be lagging when you are playing them back. In most cases, this as a result of the video file is very high and especially if you are editing in say 4K. To help solve this problem, you create proxies. Proxies are duplicated files that are way smaller in size. That helps you to get faster playbacks and helps you to edit faster. So in these two instances, this video has proxies created and this video doesn't have a proxy created. Now what happens is that this video under normal circumstance will run faster than this video and that is because it has proxies created. So to create proxies for your files, you can right click on the footage that you want to create the proxy and then you head over to create proxy. Now if you have many footages that you want to do all of them, you can select all of them, right click and then go to create proxies. But if you want to be doing it automatically, you can even go to file, go to preferences and then you go to performance you scroll down and then you can see automatically create proxies when media resolution is higher than so at this point you are going to set the size that proxies will be created when it reach so if you select for instance 1280 by 720 when the resolution is above this size it is going to create automatic proxies for you what if you create proxies and your file is still lagging then you move on to step number two and that is reducing the playback quality Reducing the playback quality will allow you to have smooth flows of your footages and the only thing that will cost you is that you are not going to actually see the clarity of the video over here but then after you export it you are going to have it in the full quality that you want. So creating a proxy and then reducing the playback quality should give you a smooth flow of your footages. The next step is organize your media. So you realize that over here we have all the music and the videos and the pictures mixed together. To help you edit faster, you can organize this media into type. So all the videos are going to be on one side, images are on one side and then sound or music will be on one side. And these two options here will allow you to do that. The first one allows you to filter so you can filter all the audios out of this project and then you can also filter all the videos out of this project but then if you want all of them separated and displaying at the same time you can use the sort over here so you can go to sort group by and then say type so you'd realize that the top here will be for video when you scroll down you are going to find your photos and then at the very bottom you are going to find your audio the next step is use auto ripple. So there are instances where you are playing your videos back like this. You make a cut over here. You head over to the next point that you want to make a cut and then it cuts again and then you delete and then it doesn't automatically join. That is because the auto ripple is off. So make sure that you have your auto ripples on. Thanks to firmware 11, you have the option to just close it out from here, but you don't want to be doing it over and over again so have your auto ripple on in this case when you cut for instance from here you make a cut and then you delete this one it automatically joins and then you can edit faster however there are other times also that you may want to keep your auto ripple off because you don't want it to be automatically joining so in that case when i make a cut here I can still have this place open for me and I can insert whatever that I want to insert over there. Now there are instances where you bring images or videos into Filmora and it doesn't fit the frame as you can see over here. You can quickly fix that by right clicking on the image and going to crop to fit. In this way it is going to fit it to the frame size and then you are good to go. What if I told you that you can easily copy the effect on one video onto the other easily? For instance, you are going to apply a color correction onto this particular frame or footage. So let's go to the color correction and let's pick for instance Harry Potter over here. Now we go back to our image and then we click OK. You realize that here we have the Harry Potter preset on it but then when it comes to the next sequence, 
we don't have the same effect on it you can easily copy this effect onto this one and you don't even have to do them one after the other to do that head over to the effect that you've color corrected or color graded right click on it and then go to copy effect now you can go to the sequence or the other footage that you don't have it on and then you can right click paste effect in this way the whole color correction the whole color grading that you did on the other footage will be applied on the other one now we don't have it on this one and we don't have it on the first one as well so you can even select all of the footages if you want to apply the same effect on all of them right click and go to paste effect and then it will be applied to all of them now this doesn't tap into only color correction and color grading it happens to crops zooming panning and all those things as well next up is use the zoom fit to make your life easier now there are instances where you'd have to open the timelines like that and just a bonus tip if you place your cursor over here you can easily open and close the timeline over here and another tip is that if you open your timeline like this and then it plays faster it makes your video play faster that is one personal thing that i've realized but then if you have so much on your timeline and then you want to see all of them in a glimpse you can easily come to this particular place here and then choose the zoom to fit to timeline and all your timeline will be such that you can see the beginning and the end at a glance next up if you bring an image here you bring one image on top here and then we can scroll down scroll here and then we can bring a sound underneath of this one as well and if you don't have any more tracks left you can go to the manage tracks here click on it and then you can add a track to it so you can add a video track and then you can also add an audio track so you can manage your tracks over here and that is not it alone you can even go to the manage tracks and then you can go to adjust track and then currently we are on a small size so you can even make it big so that you can see all of the details that are in the tracks but <laughs> this is too big for me so manage adjust and then i'm going to choose normal now since i brought this track in let me just quickly talk about the fade in and fade out you can easily fade in and out of music using this small button over here so when you place your cursor here you can drag it like that and your music will nicely fade into your project and then if you scroll to the last part of it you can also use this one drag it over here and then your music will nicely fade out and the last tip that i want to talk about for this video will be using the share folder so if you have footages images and sounds that you often to use in your project instead of importing them to the normal project you can import them to the global or the shared folder i think it's the shared folder in the previous versions in this way you don't have to be re-importing them so for instance an intro that you normally use an outro for your tiktok videos or the green screen subscribe button that you normally use in your videos you can import all of them in the shared folder or the global folder this way you don't have to be re-importing them after every project this is a bonus tip so if you have a very nice shot in your project like this and then you want to take a screenshot or take a shot of it and then use it in the video or save it for something later you can quickly come to the snapshot over here so once you click on this it is going to give you an option to save it to any part of your computer so i'm going to save it in my downloads and then i'll click ok now what this is going to do is that it is going to save in my downloads or the location that i chose at the same time it is going to be here so it is going to be as a snapshot that i can click on it like this so you can see it over here and i can even import it onto my footage as well so yeah those were 10 of the numerous tips that helps me to edit faster and easier in wondershare filmora what is one tip that helps you to edit faster in any video editing that you use i think the creators in the comment section would want to hear that i hope you found this video helpful and if you did subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye